Hey y'all, this is Jen with Sassy Southern NC Girl, and I am finally starting my bee journal. <laughs> um, I was going to try to go live, but I was having technical difficulties and couldn't figure out how to get it set up, and I just said forget it. So, we're just going to... Do it here as promised and we'll try again maybe next weekend so this is a bullet journal i think i got this at walmart but i'm not 100 <laughs> excuse me y'all i've been sneezing all day i'm not 100 percent sure um but i did take out the insides and um i took these out but i'm probably gonna use them and put them back in um, I'm probably, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because I don't have a sewing machine. So I have to figure that part out. But they're already broken down into signatures. Um, and so I'm probably just going to recover them and put them back together and all that. Because they're already a really cool, like, ivory color. Um, so we'll see. I'm not 100% sure about that, but. We'll worry about that later. Okay. So. I'm so sorry, y'all. I've been having issues all day. So, I have this really cute photo play kit that I think I either got it off of scrapbook.com or eBay. I think I got it on eBay. Excuse me. It has, um... 12 sheets of double-sided cardstock, one sheet of um, stickers. So, these are the stickers. Um, and I figure with these colors, I can put in other stuff that's similar. Like, I have um, I have this one from Hobby Lobby. I have this Bow Bunny chipboard that I got from um, Tuesday morning. And I have this sticker pad that I think comes from Joanne. And then um, I have a bunch of other stuff um, like that I can coordinate. So, that being said, I also picked up this fabric from Hobby Lobby with the gnomes that goes with the, um, the photo play. T Tola and Norbert. Sweet as honey. Um, so I think I'm going to cover it with this. Um, and I do have a yard, which is obviously I'm not going to need a yard. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had enough to do other things with too, because it's that cute. So I think we're going to start. necessarily going to go in like all the way with it. I just want to make sure because I'm go I've got a pocket to put back in here and I may put a pocket on this side. I just want enough to cover the basics. So I think and I may cut this apart even more actually. So I think what I'm going to do first is cut this fabric on the line over here and then cut it um, at the bottom and then we'll decide whether or not we're taking the, the other part apart. Okay. 
So you guys, um, I had a poll up on my community tab and you guys picked the B theme for my, oh gosh, for my first, I just cut that way over the, that's oh, okay. It's not like I'm making clothes or anything. So these are just gonna be for maybe another journal or two. And But wow, I cannot cut. It's really funny because when I worked at Hobby Lobby, um, they were always trying to put me on the fabric counter because I had done it when I worked for Joanne and it was super irritating because I hate it. <laughs> but there was this lady there today that was behind me and she actually let me go in front of her, which was super nice. But um, <laughs> she was on the phone with, I don't know, her daughter or somebody. And um, she was talking about, um, whoever she was talking to was like, you should get um, some fishing fabric. And I said, you know, I said, I used to work here and I'm pretty sure they used to have some fishing fabric. But then I started kind of looking around because I was waiting for the lady to um, cut the person in front of me. And I don't know that they do, but I know I've seen fishing fabric somewhere. It might've been at Joanne when I worked there because Joanne has a lot more fabric to choose from than Hobby Lobby. And if I was a sewer, I would most likely um, go to Joanne more. But since I'm not really a sewer per se, um, I can hand sew, or as people call it, slow stitch pretty well. But like I said, I don't have a sewing machine, so. I just don't know, okay. I don't, I don't really want to, but I might need to because if I don't cut it, um, it may get to, like you might not be able to close it. thing. Alright, so it might just be easier to cut it with scissors. Just cut it with the, if I can, we'll see. Oh yeah, it'll cut. I've never made a junk journal before. I'm super nervous. This is my very first one. I've watched a ton of videos on it. And I still don't really know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> this may be a complete disaster. We'll see. My husband and son are downstairs watching something. I don't know what there. I think so. I bought some. I don't know if this is gonna be. I got some chipboard, so I may. I think I'm gonna open this and use some of this chipboard for the spine because it's not as thick as the as this and I want it to be a little bit thicker y'all we had some terrible thunderstorms yesterday and it kicked up something because I have been sneezing all day. My son sounds real stuffy and we are just a hot mess. This is really, really thin. Okay, I'm gonna, 
I'm going to fold this in half because this chipboard is super thin. Yeah, they're definitely watching some kind of sport. I don't know what they're watching, but my husband took my pencil. to be perfect. I think I did that a little crooked, but that's okay. Don't have to be perfect. Okay. Now. I feel like these two pieces are not even even. They're not, but that's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna glue them to the back of this, and this is still gonna be the back, so I'm just gonna do this with hot glue because it doesn't really matter if this is just to thicken this up a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna go close my door, y'all. So you don't have to hear all that squawking. And I can edit out the part where I get up and close the door later. Okay, there, that's much better. Okay, we'll need to close this door and then we will continue. Okay, so, let's try this again. I should've got some, some fabric glue, but I did not. Okay. So let's position this how I want it. So I think I might should have left it like it was because now I'm wondering if that's not going to, well, that's fine. We'll leave a little bit of space. because I screwed it up. I want it to be, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be a little bit more straight. I'm going to put ribbon or something down to cover it anyway.
sticky glue is. We may just do the <clears throat> the cover tonight, y'all. Because I just realized I'm going to have to wait for this to dry to do some of it. This is so stinking cute. I was gonna use that B notebook I got for five dollars at um, Books a Million, but I don't know if I want to cover that up. So I figure we will start here first with something that I don't really care about covering, and that I am not using because once I do it, it's done. So I want to be certain before I start tearing stuff up. You know what I'm saying? And I might put something underneath here because I kind of like that frayed look so I kind of want to leave it on the back I'm just trying to think what I could put there I could put some of this I'm 
under both sides or you know like right there and then I could this is exactly the height I don't really need it to be exact just realized that's like way up there but I can cut it and that way we have that and then we can bend that before I glue it and then that way, it will bend properly. I think this is all we're gonna get done tonight y'all but that's okay that's a good start hey i started y'all that's more than i had done right i know people were probably starting to think i was never gonna start I feel like it's coming along nicely already for the little bit that I've done. I know it's not much, but I like it. I like it so far. Okay. And there's that. Glue this down. And I'm sure I have some ribbon in there. Y'all got so much ribbon, it's ridiculous. I need to de-stash it. Because there's no way I'm going to ever use all the ribbon I have in my lifetime. It's kind of ridiculous. But to be fair to myself, I used to... Um, make hair bows for my daughters when they were little. So Okay. So that's good. That's going to be That's going to be nice. Okay. And then this is going to come in like that. about right there.
And even if you don't junk journal, this is showing you ways you can use fabric for other paper, paper crafting projects, right? So that's cool. I gotta decide how I wanna do, I think what I'm gonna do is work on that next time y'all because <clears throat> I might need to watch some videos and see how to go about because it's not gonna look good like that might be okay. I do have some of those, um, what do you call them? <sighs> the book corners I could put on there if necessary. I don't even really know how they work. What I'm probably going to end up having to do is do this and then take a piece of that chipboard and put it over the top of all that so you can't see any of this. Unfortunately, so which means the fringy stuff is not going to show, but that's okay. Not so much. I think I'm going to let this dry overnight, y'all. And then I will come back tomorrow on Sunday and do more with y'all. Because I don't want this to be messed up. So I think I'm going to do that and I'm going to research a little bit tonight about the ends. And if y'all have any suggestions, you can put them down below too because I'm going to post this. I'm going to go ahead and post this and then um, let it dry overnight. And maybe some of you seasoned junk journalers can give me some ideas for what I should do for the edges. So I think I'm gonna stop for there cause this is like at 30 minutes and I think I'm just gonna do little clips um, and maybe try to go live at some point next weekend. But for now, y'all let me know what you think so far. Also let me know what you think about putting another piece of chipboard over everything once I do decide what I'm going to do with the sides. Um, I mean, it's going to be covered with other stuff. Like, I'm going to put ribbon down and stuff, but, like, I think that would make it look more finished. Okay. So, that's going to be it for now, you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, and 
Um, also, thank y'all for voting on my poll. I am still going to do the Paris Journal and the Strawberry Journal. Um, and probably a Sunflower Journal and maybe a Lemon Journal. I'm like, I have all these things I want to do. <laughs> and not enough time to do them. But at least we're starting and we'll, I think this is going to end up being a really super cute journal. I'm probably not even going to want to let, let it go, but I can always make another one, right? So... Y'all come along for the ride and see how this junk journal progresses. And I will see you in the next one. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, y'all. Bye.